in this video, we will be going through the workflow process by using prompt travel with AnimateDev. We will be using the Disney Pixar cartoon checkpoint and also I researched to use this Laura. I'll first of all go to Pixar Bay. I was drawn to use this image as you guys can see here. I'm just going to download this image, save, resize the image to 512 by 512. I'll do that using After Effects quickly. So in After Effects, I'm just going to change my resolution to 512, 512. So I'll drag the image in here, I'll pull it down here, and I'll change the resolution to full, and I'll just rescale this. And my reason for doing this is to just make sure this works perfectly with the checkpoint. So I'll save this as a JPEG, and um, I'll just export this. This is all we need After Effects for. So once this is done, I'm just going to close this. Once we are good here, we come back to Stable Diffusion. So by using the reference we just downloaded, I'm just going to drag this puppy in here. What we can do is to find our style. So to have a description of this, I'm going to click on this, but it says the interrogate clip. So once I click this, this is actually going to describe this picture we have for us in the prompt section. I'm going to generate an image first to see what our style is giving us from what we have here. All right, so this is what we are getting from Disney Plus cartoon. Uh, from here, I'm just going to change a few settings down here. I'm going to change this to Eula A, which I want to use. I'll push the steps up a bit to maybe 40. 512 by 512. Remember, that was what I resized in After Effects, so that wouldn't be a problem. CFG, we leave everything at default. We'll just regenerate to see what we get. We have this and I don't want the buildings in there so I'm just going to add a few negative prompts just to avoid the buildings. I would also include buildings generate to see what we get. Uh, we still have the building. I think maybe it might be coming from the prompts. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, the prompt says a building in the background. So yeah, let's just take this out to see what we get. Okay, there we go. I like this more without the building. So I'll keep this. I'll just add a Laura. So I'll check with my Lauras. I'll add more details. So I was hoping I could find this Laura here, which is this one, MG4G Animal. And for some reason, I probably haven't downloaded. Let's see. Save Tensor. Um, I'll come down here into my drive. I'll go to automatic uh, Laura. Models first, okay, Laura. Yeah, so I'm just going to save this. Come back to stable diffusion. I'm hoping this will show up once I refresh. And there we go, we have it here. I'll just click this. I'm just going to separate this, so I'm going to cut this here. I just prefer to have more details for the description, so I'll just put this here. White dog, I'll just press this there. More details 0.8. Um, this was not actually a specific Laura in mind. I just researched and I realized it worked well with dogs. And since we were working on um, a dog composition planet. So I'll just come back to generation. We'll just click here and we see what we get. Alright, so this gives it a bit more touch. Having so much weight. So I'll just take this down a bit. 0.5. Let's see what we get from that. Yeah, there we go. So we are, we, we get the color back just by uh, bringing this Laura, reducing this Laura a bit to 0 0.5. I'll keep this for now. Okay, I remember reading in the comments, which I'm going to show on the screen now, if there was a way of using image to image in Animate Diff. So from here, we are going to start animating. First of all, we are going to need the extensions, which is um, Animate Diff as well as Prompt Travel. I have covered the installation process in the previous tutorial. If that would be helpful, um, you guys can check that as well just to see how the installation works. You just come to your available you load from. Uh, you search whatever you want here. Prompt Travel, it comes, you click install. As well as searching for Animate Diff, you also search the same way uh, you have it installed from here as well. Once those two extensions are installed, uh, you come down here, you're going to find uh, your prompt travel in your script section. And also, animate step will be down here in uh, your tabs here. We are ready to start animating. 
So when we come back to ChatGPT, I just have these few breakdowns to use in our prompt travel actions. So how about we go for digging and also we go for walking. So our first friend will be zero and a colon. Our second action will be at eight frames, also a colon. And so I think I'll go for just two actions, zero walking, 16 digging. Come down here to start animating. What we need to do is to make sure prompt travel is here. And with prompt travel, we can use that alongside animate div, which is going to be 14 with my motion model here. And we enable animate div. I'm also going to change this to 32 frames to have a quick preview. I'll leave this at eight frames. Everything else is fine. And from here, I'm hoping we get something nice. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. So this seems to be turning out great. From here, we can see the actions of the puppy digging. I'm just patient uh, to see how it turns out. But the previews actually looks promising. So uh, let's just let's just wait. All right, so this is so cute. Um, this is very, very cute from the outcome. I was just hoping we can have the puppy digging from the grass. But what if we just increase the weight to see if that's possible? Uh, let's put animate diff and pump travel to the test. I'll just hit generate. This is coming along towards the last few frames. We can see some sand ground. Uh, let's not get too excited. Uh, let's wait till this is done. All right, all right, all right, all right. So what do we have here? Um, this is quite impressive from Animate Dave. It's trying its best uh, to do the digging. I'm actually liking the results. Um, I also had a question in the comments of how to make your images into a GIF file or a video file. So once we click on this icon folder, it's going to take us to the directory where we have all the generations of our projects. Once you come to your stable diffusion directory, you look for your outputs. Uh, just to clarify this, there are actually two folders to look out for, right? Because when we are in the image to image, it's only going to generate frames for us. And when we scroll all the way down here, we are going to find all the frames, which is this here. And also there's another way, which when we go to the outputs and we go to text to image, it also creates another folder here, which is animate diff. When you use the text to image, it automatically gives you a GIF file compared to you using the image to image. So to solve the problem of making this into a video file, we first of all need to select the number of frames we generated, which I'm sure it starts from here. To be accurate, I'll just cut this. I'll create a new folder. I'll call this puppy frames. I'll just paste everything in here from where we cut. Next thing we need to do is to rename all of this into a sequential order. We can use a free um, software, which I'm going to link in the description, which is the bulk rename utility, as you guys can see here. So we just copy the directory destination from here, Control C, so we just paste this here, enter. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. It brings in all our frames from that specific folder. We just select everything here. We are going to remove all the numbers in the beginning we come down here to the prefix we want to start with an image dot and everything you do here just updates here using it. here we put suffix and in part we put in one two three four five so you guys can see it has renamed this all the way to 32 frames which uh remember 32 frames was what we put in here into animate this we can just rename by hitting this icon here. And I would also put this by the side. And once I click rename and okay, right, so everything now is in a sequential order, which is 0 0.001 to 0 0.32. And uh, to have a video file from this, I would usually use the Topaz Video AI. We just need to drag one clip in here, that's all we need. 
I can either upscale this to two times. I'll keep the frame rate at 60 frames per second. You can also make this uh, two times slow motion. You can apply this as well. Uh, sensitivity, I'll put it to five. Down to enhancement down here, I'll do this to manual. I'll push this to 100 and 100. I'll put the sharpen to 10. And I'll also push this to, um, this to 30. And anti blur, I'll push this to 100. So you can always preview to see the results first. Next thing we just need to do once we like the preview is to just come down here and we export as. I export as we save this to the folder wherever we want to save this to. Once it's done, we can just come down here. We can reveal, show in Explorer. It's going to open where we actually save this and boom, we have everything down here. If you prefer to use an MP4, you go for H H264, you change this down here to MP4. Uh, once you hit export, it's going to follow the same process. So I hope this video actually helped answer some of the questions in the comments. And if you enjoy this tutorial, you may wish to subscribe for further videos. You can always give this video a like if it was valuable. Also, you may check out the channel page for extra videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.